I just heard. Josh's father's been admitted. What happened? Come here. I don't want to ever hear you again call that SOB Josh's father. Hey, all right, easy. Look, if the situation's going to continue to get you like this, I think it's high time you and Mom cashed in some frequent flyer miles and took a trip so you could chill out. Yeah. Chill out? Yeah. I know Madden's broken the law, and I'm not doing anything. I'm keeping him on staff. I'm paying his salary, and I'm, I'm allowing him access to more vulnerable pregnant women. I mean, I'm as bad as he is. That's not true. And How you know. can I keep on doing this and not resign from the hospital? I tell you, he is one dangerous man. Good to see you again, Dixie. Are you dying? You don't look like you have a fatal condition. No, you can relax. I'm not going to die. At least not today. I have too much to do before I pass on my legacy. I'm sure. I have a very good surgeon, actually, Dr. David Haywood. I think you know him rather well. You know that I do? Have you seen your son? I've seen him. Has he seen you? Who oh, and Tad? Did you have a nice big reunion planned? And you want to know this why? I seem to have missed the media coverage of your miraculous return from the dead. Well, I'm sure you have much more important things to worry about than my life or death. Possibly. Since you didn't bring me flowers or candy and you don't seem to have much sympathy, I don't know exactly why you came. Why did you come here, a place full of your loved ones? Why did you risk exposure? You know exactly why I'm here. You absolute scum of the earth. Dad was supposed to be on the same side, remember? It's unanimous. Everybody hates Greg Madden. Yes, yes, he's a disaster waiting to happen. If you feel so strongly about this, why didn't you fire him the second you found out about it? Because if I unload Greg Madden, everything's going to come out. That's why. Who Josh really is, how he was created from Erica's stolen embryo. And to top it all off, I promised Erica I would keep my mouth shut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We both did. That means we both are stuck seeing Greg Madden every day and forcing a smile. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I really want to call the police. Do you realize that for what he did, he could be tossed into prison? Never mind being barred from medicine for several lifetimes. Huh. Have you ever heard the expression, keep your enemies close? Yeah. Look, at least this way you get to keep an eye on him, right? Just like Hayward. Don't give me that look. You knew if you wanted to keep your grandson by your side practicing medicine, you were going to have to pay a price. And for now, that price is watching Greg Madden go unpunished. But I hate it. I hate it. I hate not being able to do anything. And all this for a secret that's not helping anybody. No, I don't think Eric would agree with you. Well, well, you know, and that's another thing I hate, that I promised her I would keep it a secret. Ah, well, ah, well. It's not going to go on much longer. What is that supposed to mean? You gave me a word. you got to keep it. Erica is going to have to deal with Joshua's biological father very soon. Jeff? You got Jeff to come back? I cannot believe you got Jeff to come home. How? I mean, why? What did you tell him to oh, come easy, back? Easy, easy, easy. Don't get so upset. I'm not trying to use your older brother to get around my promise to Erica. Well, why now all of a sudden? Why now? Yeah, why now? Why now? Do you really expect he's going to stay away after he's found out he's got a grown son? I don't know what I expected, but I it wasn't something like and that. And he certainly he realizes he can't make any kind of a decision until he, he at least sees his child that he never knew he had. Mm -hmm. Find out what kind of a man he's become. We'll call it a hunch, but I don't think Jeff is going to like what he sees. You know, you really ought to quit this. You're so quick to make a judgment about Josh. And look, look, look who raised him. I and mean, this Greg Mathers, a man without a conscience. No matter how you feel about Josh, the guy is an adult. An adult that drugged Erica. Yes. He has to be accountable. This guy is your nephew. I know, Pop. I know. I got that part. Yeah. I still don't know how I feel about considering him family. Yeah. Well, you can imagine how Jeff feels. Well, I don't even know at this point exactly how Erica feels. <sighs> Erica, Erica. I think, I think Jeff's vote should count just as much as Erica's. Yeah, he probably thought he'd never have to deal with Erica yeah, again. He probably didn't, but he's going to have to. And I tell you, I think he deserves to have his say. Oh, excuse me. Dr. Martin, you need in the R. Stop. Thank you. I'll be right there.
Brace yourself, Jeff. It's gonna be a hell of a homecoming. There's no need to get nasty. Why not? You are a revolting excuse for a human being. Perhaps that's how you see it. But you know what I see? I see women in hiding. And I wonder why. You know why I'm risking everything to be here? You know exactly what I want from you. Dixie, I can think of several reasons why you'd like to see me in private. You haven't told anyone that I'm alive. That's true, I haven't. I don't see you spilling anything now. That all depends on what you do next. I'm wasting my breath trying to talk to you like a human being. What did I say about being nasty? Heartless. My esteemed cardiologist would beg to differ. I'm warning you. Do not mess with me or the people that I love. I'm not afraid of anything you say or anything you can do. Well, maybe you should be. I think you have more to lose if certain facts come to light than I do. Really? You think so? Because at this point, after what I've been through, I don't think you have the first clue of what I'm willing to risk. Madden, it's Tad Martin. So, I guess the rumors are true. You are human. Despite all evidence to the contrary. Mm hmm Well, don't mind me. I just came by to see if you're dead yet. You're not the first one. I guess there is an upside to your condition. Oh, please. Why don't you enlighten me? Well, for one thing, you have to work on that study, remember? The one you had all those files for? All those files on the Martins? Oh, that's true. I could put this time to good use. So have you proven anything yet? I'm not into specifics. I'm just working on a connection of families who have members in the medical Oh, profession. yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. The Martins and their wacky medical skill. Uh, don't let me disturb you. I'll check in with you later. Tad, wait. I know how incredible my mother was. I'm sorry you can't stay longer, Tad. I'm not. I really do wish you and I could be friends. You know, we have so many acquaintances in common. I doubt it. It could be easily proven. Well, we'll just have to compare a dress book some other time. You think your loved ones are only loyal to you? Let's just say, I don't think you're the miracle worker that everybody else around here believes you are. I can make miracles happen. I can make one happen for you. Well, thank God I'm not looking for a child. Sometimes we don't know what we're looking for. This is me leaving before you get anywhere. There's a few things left we could discuss. Some of the time. Did you get to work on that paper? I can't wait to read it. How do you know, Ted? Small town. Was he talking about some study of his family? I don't think you should be standing here grilling me, not when you're risking exposure. Why didn't you tell him? Why didn't you tell him I was here? Dixie, we settled things between us years ago. Nothing is settled. I don't think it will do you and I any good if we air our dirty laundry in public. Why don't you just run along? In case you haven't noticed, I'm in recovery.
out of here. Would you get me out of here? Would you, would you get me out of here before I do something that I regret for the rest of my life? Tell me about Mad. Listen, I can't talk about it, Zach. It's, it's, uh, it's complicated. Try me. It's personal. Personal? More personal than keeping your secret, or...? I just can't. I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Madden is Kendall's doctor. He's treating the woman I love. Let's have it. What about the surgery? How'd it go? Oh, about as well as can be expected. That's the thing about being a surgeon, you know. You see a problem, and you can mostly go right in and repair it. It's a... Life outside the hospital is not quite that simple. If only it were. Dad, I've made a lot of mistakes with both my boys. Especially J.R. Now I have to take every chance I can get to make things up to him. Do you have any idea how Jeff is going to feel when he finds out? Do you know what he's going to do? Years ago, Greg Mad made a choice. Uh, we didn't know about it, so it was taken out of our hands. Now Jeff gets to make a choice. So tell me, what would you do if it were your son and someone did that to you? My history with Greg Madden may have nothing to do with Kendall. Maybe not. But he's pressuring Kendall to give up her baby for adoption. He's what? Now, you risked everything in the hospital wanting to talk to him. What do you know? Just... Just get her away from him. But... That's all I feel comfortable saying, okay? Isn't that enough? No, it's not enough. What's going on? Is Kendall in trouble? The baby in trouble? What? You, you told me once that I could keep my business to myself. That's before I knew that Kendall was involved. I don't have to confess anything Okay, to then you. try to help me. How can I protect Kendall if I don't know what to protect her from? Greg Madden is the reason that I lost my child. 